Hey, what's up guys? I'm Frosty Gaming, and I'm here to bring you the first of my Unity tutorial series videos. Now this first video is just going to be an introduction, I'm not actually going to do anything with Unity just yet. Um, if you already know what Unity is, and you have it downloaded and you've got it open and you want to work from there, then I suggest going to my first development video and you can go from there. Otherwise, welcome and I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and a little bit about Unity in this video. So I've been working in Unity for about a year and a half now. I'm in college. I'm supposed to graduate in about six months with two bachelor's degrees, and one in computer science and one in media informatics. I've been working in Unity in my school and uh, but mostly outside as a hobby thing. I've been I've worked on three different game projects as the main programmer, one of which I led and presented at the Ohio Game Developer Expo in 2013, December. I'm currently starting up another project with a, a few of my friends, and I'm hoping to get that finished and published by the end of the year. The reason that I want to do a tutorial series is because I want to teach people that are having trouble with Unity or people that are interested in game development but don't know where to start, Unity is a great place to start. It's where I started and I've learned a whole lot about game development and game engines in the process and it's just fueled my passion for video games and wanting to make them. I'm going to be doing short basic videos first and then once I get done with those I'm going to be moving into more advanced stuff. Uh, more advanced scripting, more advanced Unity techniques, stuff like that. So the first several tutorials are probably going to be generic and uh, really simple things that people could probably figure out on their own just by messing with it and I highly suggest that you do that. You just mess around with it for a couple hours and try to figure things out. But uh, you could also watch my videos and I'm hoping they'll be able to help you out now I realize that there's a lot that I don't know about Unity and a lot that I don't know about game engines and I'm hoping that some of the feedback that I get from these videos will help me learn and grow as a game developer kinda of get something back from the community you know so definitely let me know what you think about my videos let me uh, tell me if I did something wrong or if you think there's a better way to do something I would really appreciate that alright now I'm gonna start talking about Unity the real question is what is Unity right? Unity is a game engine which is a tool to help developers make games, right? Uh, back in the old days to make a game you'd have to code everything from scratch and it was a pain in the butt and some people still do that and that's fine but a lot of people use game engines to help them get their stuff out. A lot of indie developers use game engines like Unity and Unreal and a lot of big big name developers actually make their own in-house game engines for their games. If you go to unity3d.com it'll take you to their website. If you just Google Unity game engine or Unity it might come up. So yeah, just unity3d.com and I'm going to be putting a lot of these links in the description so that you can get to them easier. Uh, and we can go here. What is Unity, right? We want to know what it is. Well, I already told you it's a game engine. It uh, is used for the creation of 2D and 3D games and interactive content. So recently they released Unity 4, which has a 2D support, so you can make 2D games a lot easier. Before it was, when I started with it, it was primarily a 3D game engine. You can do both. I'm going to be doing primarily 3D stuff. So if you're looking for 2D game tutorials, maybe I'll do those in the future. I'm not sure, but right now I'm going to stick with the 3D stuff. So this is an example of the interface of Unity, and we'll be going over this a lot later. Um, some of the tools and an example of one of the scenes from the game. This web link will tell you a lot about Unity, and uh, I'll put that in the description as well. There's a lot of uh, platforms that you can export to in Unity. So we got like PC, Windows Store, Mac, Linux, 
uh, web players, like just anything you can imagine really, even consoles, Wii U, PlayStation 3, 4, PS Vita, Xbox One is now supported, that's pretty new, Xbox 360 of course, so this game engine allows you to make games for all kinds of things, whatever you want to export it to, you pretty much can do that. Unity 5 is in the works right now, but that probably won't be coming in for a while, so I'm going to be working in Unity 4.5. Uh, I might be upgrading along the tutorial series if there's an update or if they come out with a newer version, but for now it's Unity 4.5. They have an asset store which will let you get things like models, textures, materials, um, scripts, things that I'm going to be going over. You can buy pre-made things for your game if there are certain things that you don't want to do in-house or don't have time to do. Uh, asset store is a great place. All right. So yeah, you can go to this website. You can learn a, bit, a little bit more. Um, something else you might be asking is uh, what's been made with Unity. You know, what games might you know that have been made with Unity? Well, you can go to this showcase gallery, and you can see all of these games have been made with Unity, and there's a lot more. Um, I'm just going to mention off some big ones. Uh, Monument Valley is a newer one. It's a, an iOS game. There was this by Us, Us2. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. But uh, I've heard that's really good. I haven't actually played that one. Rust is also made in, uh, in Unity. Rust is right here by Face Punch Studios. Um, Temple Run was a big one. Um, Kerbal Space Program is probably my favorite game that has been made in Unity. I love that game. And if you don't know what that game is, you should definitely check it out. It's a spaceship simulator, but it's a whole lot of fun. It's really hard, but it's a whole lot of fun. Uh, Plague Incorporated Evolved, which uh, you try to like infect the entire world with some disease. Uh, that's a pretty cool one. Bro Force is a new indie game that came out. That's pretty good by Free Lives. And Gone Home is another one that's pretty good. Anyway, th if you want to check out all the games, they have them all here in the gallery. And it's a good place to go and just kind of look and see what has been made with Unity already. Okay, so we can go to the download page here and download Unity. And before you do this, I want to urge you to do something take a look into other game engines. A few other game engines that cross my mind are CryEngine, Unreal, uh, Source, Game Maker, RPG Maker, Construct, those are some 2D ones. Um, but you know, take a look at those, maybe just look at some YouTube videos about them, look at the comparisons, what might be better for a kind of game that you want to make. They all have pros and cons and before you really start getting into delving into a game engine, you should know what you're getting into. So, look at those, see if they're uh, a little bit more suited to what you want, and uh, if Unity seems like a good option for you, then stick around and I can tell you a whole lot more about it. Alright, so go to this page, this Unity download page, and you should have a download button. You should be able to download Unity. It's free. Uh, the pro version, which has a few other features, is paid and it's a lot of money. So I would suggest just going with the free version for now and learning it and seeing how it goes and seeing if it actually is going to be uh, what you want in the long run. I think that's going to be it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to tell you, help you with installing and uh, creating new projects and talking a little bit about the format of the tutorials and how I'm going to do those. Alright, I'll see you later and I hope you enjoyed it.